lot of change and transformation has happened and is continuing to happen. So I invite you to go ahead and find a comfortable seat if you haven't already. Allow your eyes to gently close. Connect with the beat of your heart. The slow, steady beat of the drum. The heartbeat of the earth. And with each beat of this drum, there is an energy exchange between Mother Earth and Father Sky. And this energy exchange pulses through our bodies. It's not that the drum is doing the energy exchange, it's just beating in time with it. <laughs> this is an internal energy pulse. For just a few moments here, let's feel and see or imagine, imagination so powerful. Light energy pulsing up and down from the center of the earth, through our bodies, up into the cosmos, connecting you with the sun behind the sun, and then pulsing back down all the way to Mother Earth's crystalline magnetic center. Down to Mother Earth, up to Father Sky. Present. Even go inward a little bit before we start any kind of movement practice, whether it's yoga or spin or anything, anything at all, Zumba, <laughs> hit class. When I get really centered and connect in so that when we move, we are very aware of our bodies. And this brings us to a space where we are way less likely to cause, um, to hurt ourselves. Right, you might notice on days where you've got a lot going on and, and your head's swirling around, those are the days where you, you trip over silly things. <laughs> we're not paying attention. So we don't, we want to be really, really present as we move through our bodies. bringing thumbs to heart center, so like a Anjali Mudra, this is called, it's like yoga with your hands, but a prayer position, right? And you're just setting an intention, saying a prayer, making a wish. It's something that you are hoping for for yourself or for the world, which is oftentimes one and the same, right? Peace, peace in our hearts, peace in the world. Full breath in, reach your arms up to the sun, the moon, the stars, and then continue this breath. Continue filling up. So fill up a little more, a little more. Feel the body expand. And then exhale out of the mouth, fold forward. Let your hands come to the earth in front of you, or fingertips, or maybe hands are on your knees. Long exhale. And again, breathe in, walk your hands back and towards your body. Continue this inhale, your arms reach up overhead and then breathe in even more, sip in even more. Inhale, fresh oxygen, a little more, a little more. And exhale out of the mouth. Folding forward, surrendering forward. Maybe you're up on your fingertips, maybe palms are to the earth. One more like this. Walking hands back in towards the body. 
Full breath in, reach arms up to the sun. More air, more air. Breathe in a little more. Little more. Little more. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna exhale five times. So that's just a way to make sure we really get as much air to push out. Walking here, actually, let's leave hands out in front a little bit longer and just enjoy this. Enjoy this uh, shape. And walk hand over hand out over to the right. Let your right hand stay to the earth, your left arm reach up by the left ear. And exhale, let the left fingertips come back down towards the earth. Walk hand over hand over to the other side. So now left hand stays to the earth, right arm reaches up. And let's go from side to side like that at your own pace. Moving with your breath. I'm inhaling as the arm reaches up overhead, and then exhaling as the hand comes back down towards the earth, and then walks over to the other side. Maybe that feels good for you too. One more each side. Coming back to center, shoulders up above the hips. Extending the heels out in front. So lengthen the legs, shake out the legs. Let you flex and point your, your feet, roll through the ankles. <laughs> Try spreading your toes. <laughs> okay. And come back to neutral, soften the back of the knees, reach arms up to the sky and surrender forward. So this might be like a half an inch that you lean forward, no problem, and your hands come on your thighs. So what we want is to, this, it's like an asking, so you're not forcing. When we force, the muscles tend to tighten up and then it's actually um, opposite of what you want to have happen, which is um, a lengthening up and down the backs of the legs and the lower back. So if we just find that edge and breathe into it, you're meeting yourself where you're at. Three more cycles of breath here. So three more inhales and exhales. Full breath in, shoulders come back up above the hips. Use your hands, bring your knees in towards the body. Let the soles of the feet come together and the knees fall out to the sides. Baddha Konasana. And then your hands can either be on your ankles or your feet. Well, let's go ahead, let the spine ascend to the sun. So lengthen spine. And exhale, roll it forward. Elbows might come towards the insides of the knees. And then inhale, unroll. Hands to ankles, perhaps. And then exhale. Roll it in. Moving with the pulse. So inhale, open up. Expansion. Exhale, roll it in. Contraction. One more like this. Uh, and pausing. At the bottom, your hands might come out in front of you, or again, maybe you're up on your fingertips, or hands stay right to your feet or ankles. Three breaths here. Sending breath, space, light to any place that might feel a little tight or a little tense.
Full breath in, walk hands back in towards the body. Shoulders come back up above the hips. Let's use the hands to bring the knees back together. <sighs> come into a tiny little seat. So high up on the toes, heels come up off the earth, allowing the chin to drop down to your, towards your heart, bowing your mind to the wisdom of your heart. We're breathing into the back of the heart. Imagine the light shining up the back of your heart up into the cosmos. If you're feeling your rib cage expand, the back body expand. And exhale. And allow the heels to come down to the earth. Swoop the feet back behind. Let's come to child's pose. So big toes touching. As long as big toes are touching, knees can be any distance apart from each other. And make this an active child's pose with the arms extended out in front. Maybe the third eye taps down on the earth, connects with the earth. And breathe in, come up to your tabletop pose. So knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Full breath in, neutral spine. Exhale, arc the back, come into cat. The belly button draws up towards the back of the spine. Chin comes towards the heart. Shoulder blades might slide away from each other. And inhale, let the belly drop down towards the earth, offer the heart forward, lift the gaze, cow. And just flow through like this, cat cow flow. Movement to breath. And coming back to neutral spine. Bring your hands out in front of you a little bit more. I'll show you a little bit more. And then we're shifting forward to a kneeling plank. So shoulders come up above the wrists, and you're feeling this um, abdominals are engaged. You're feeling in this, this in the arms. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower halfway down and then come right back up. Three more like that. Halfway down, elbows shining towards your feet, towards your toes. Uh, maybe the insides of your elbows or uh, insides of your arms are sliding right along the outsides of your rib cage. Two more. I think I did five. That's okay. This feels good. <laughs> And lower all the way down to the earth. Wiggle your hips from side to side to lengthen your legs. Full breath in, lift the heart, feel the baby cobra. And exhale, heart returns back to the earth. And again, one more like this. Little baby cobra, lift the heart. And exhale, heart returns to earth. Push into palms to send hips back towards heels, child's pose. Hmm. And send energy down through the hands, tuck all ten toes, let hips glide back and high, downward facing dog. Hmm. Bend into knees, Gaze between the hands, bring the feet up to meet them. Lift halfway when you get to the top of your mat. Long line of energy from tailbone up the crown of the head, softening the back of the knees so they're not, whoop, they're not locked out. There's energy spiraling and flowing through. Exhale, surrender, fold. Root down, lift to rise all the way up. Color to the rising sun brings arms up overhead. And exhale, let's bring it right back down. Surrender, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, surrender. Root down, lift to rise all the way up, arms reach to the sky. And exhale, colors of the setting sun, bring it right back down. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, surrender. Root 
down, lift to rise all the way up, arms reach to the sun. Good, exhale, thumbs to heart center. Pause here, just a moment, just a beat. Breathe in, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, surrender, colors of the setting sun brings you right back down. Bend into knees so much your hands can connect with the earth. Let your right foot stay right where it is. Your left foot extend all the way back. <sighs> and we want the right knee above the right ankle. And you might play around with wiggling those left, that left, the ball of the left foot back a little bit. So shift forward and back. And allow the left knee to tap down to the earth. Left hand stays rooted, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Feel the energy pulse up from the center of the earth through your left palm, through your heart, out through your right fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right hand connects back with the earth. Lift the back knee. Spin that heel down. We're setting up for warrior two. Left heel spins down. Get your foundation. Lift to rise. Bring it up. Cartwheel up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your arms back behind you. Take hold of opposite elbows. And then if it feels okay, maybe interlace your fingers. Send your knuckles down towards the earth. <sighs> Two more breaths here. Two more cycles of breath. Feel the energy flow. And release the fingers, release the elbows, warrior two. Feel the light and the heat radiate out from your heart, out through your fingertips. And then cartwheel down, hands frame the front foot, lift the back heel, step it up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, surrender. Root down, lift to rise all the way up. Oh, arms reach to the stars. And exhale, let's bring it right back down. Colors of the setting sun. Bend into knees so much your hands can connect with the earth. This time, right foot goes way, way back. Right foot goes back. We've got our lunge here. Left knee above the left ankle. And allow the right knee to tap down. Right hand stays to the earth as left fingertips reach up towards the sky. Feel the spiral energy in your body all the way from those right toes, right up through the right leg, through your spine on the crown of your head. Breathe in. And breathe out. Left hand connects back with the earth. Lift that back knee, spin the heel down to both feet rooted to the earth. Cartwheel up, warrior two. And bring your arms by your sides. Maybe take hold of opposite elbows back behind you, or again, interlace your fingers, send your knuckles down towards the earth. One more breath here. <sighs> free the fingers, free the elbows, warrior two. Peaceful, heart-led warrior. Breathe in. Breathe out. Cartwheel down. Hands frame the front foot. Spin the back heel up. Step it to the top. One more time here. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Exhale. Surrender. Root down. Lift to rise all the way up. Exhale. Surrender. Right back down. And bend into knees so much you can sit right down on the earth. Let's make our way onto the back body. So you can roll down, get a little, little abdominal heat here. Or you could ease onto one side, right? And then just roll onto the back body. Hug knees to chest. Make little circles on the lower back. Uh, 
Take both hands to the right knee. Keeping the left knee bent, place the left foot on the earth so the left knee is gonna shine up towards the sky. Recline pigeon, right ankle just below into the outside of the left knee. So you're making a figure four with your legs. I'll show you, like this. Now this left foot can stay to the earth or maybe lift this left foot right up and take hold of the back of the left thigh. And if you try something and you're like, oh, that feels like it's a bit much right now, you could go ahead and release the foot back down. You might even just come up onto the ball of the left foot. Then maybe lift head, neck, and shoulders. And exhale. Allow head, neck, and shoulders to come back down to the earth if you lifted them. Release the left foot, uncross the right leg. Let's go right to the other side, so hug left knee in. Left ankle just below to the outside of the right knee, making that figure four shape. You could stay right here, <laughs> or go ahead and lift the right foot right up off the earth. Taking hold of the back of the right thigh. Maybe lifting head, neck, and shoulders. One more breath. And allow head, neck, and shoulders to come back down to the earth if you still have them lifted. Release the right foot down to the earth. Uncross the legs. Okay. Choices here for our final resting posture. Actually, just a moment, let your arms come out like a T and let your knees fall out to the side. Just a little, little twist, just a breath. So knees fall out to the side, full expansive breath. And exhale, let the knees come back to center, let them fall out over to the other side. Just a breath. Allow knees to shine back up towards, towards the sky, come back to center. So you could here, knees together, feet heel toe out to the edges of your mat. So your knees are, I'll show you, knees are falling in, feet are out. <laughs> or you could let the soles of your feet come together and your knees fall out to the sides. So you're making like a diamond shape with your legs. Maybe placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly with whatever shape you've decided for your legs. Just a few moments here for a final meditative shape. Connecting back with the pulse the energy flowing from Mother Earth to Father Sky, right through our bodies, charging us up. Bringing a sense of relaxation and peace and calm. And vibrant all at the same time. arms up overhead with you have your knees falling out to the sides swoop your arms on either side of your thighs bring your knees back together and make your own journey up to a seat a comfortable seat take your time you might roll to one side or 
rock your way up. Finding whatever a comfortable seat means to you. And we'll pause here for just a moment. Left hand on the heart, right hand over the left, bowing your mind to the wisdom of your heart. to gently open. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you so much.